Hello and welcome to a new series of videos for electrical engineering. In this series of videos, we're talking about the physical layers, uh, the physics behind electrical effects. Long time ago, uh, and pretty long time, we did not even know what was, what is electricity. Uh, the word electron comes from Greek. Uh, it means Amber, yeah? the, the Greek word for amber is electron. So, and because amber was, if you, you know, if you, if you stroke something, yeah, then there might be sparks, yeah, electrical sparks and so on, yeah. And this is where the name come from, yeah. So we did not know what was or what is electricity. Yeah? Now, electron, amber, Greek name. That's the origin of the name. And what is this now? Yeah? Eventually, people found out what this is. Yeah? And electricity is nothing artificial. Electricity is something which lies within matter. All right? Like mass. We don't consider mass as something artificial yeah? because we experience every day. This phone has a current mass, it's heavy, yeah, because it's there simply, yeah, because the matter from which this has been formed, yeah, this is there, yeah, and it's the same, it's the same for electricity, right? Electricity is simply something which is inside hidden, more hidden than mass, actually. But inside matter, yeah? we. I'm going to explain you. Yeah? I'm going to explain you. We are using a quite simple form of our understanding how an atom looks like, atom model of Bohr. Yeah? And but for for us it's sufficient. Yeah? We don't need to be highly sophisticated. We just need to understand electrical effects, and there we don't need subatomic particles. Yes, we need, but but not too far off. Yeah. So we think, yeah, or that the Bohr's atom model is that there is a core yeah, of the atom, and there are the surroundings, yeah, the shell. And the core of the atom consists of two types of of elements. Yeah? So there are Elements one, two, and there are other elements inside. Right? And we found out that some of these elements have a so called have electrical has shown electrical behavior, right? And we call it charge. Okay. Some of these things are charged. Yeah? And we noticed there are other things which are around there, yeah? which considered to be significantly smaller, which are in the orbit of those core. Yeah? And this is how we think this is the atom model. Yeah? This is how we can consider an atom to be built. And this is sufficient for us. Right? And we people noticed that the things which are outside there, yeah, they have electrical charge, they call it charge, and the thing which is inside there, yeah, some of those things which is inside there, they have uh, also a charge, but a different charge. So we needed two, two names for them. Yeah? And it was, cons <sighs> you could name it, I don't know, Peter and Jack. Yeah? But it was more convenient to call it positive and negative charges. Why positive and negative? Yeah, Because 
it's it's we will see. Huh? We will see. Those things are called electrons here. Huh? Electrons are in the hull of the of the atom, and here inside we have protons. And neutrons. This is how they name. Yeah? And those things we say they are, have a positive charge. Yeah? And those things here have negative charge. So protons. They have mass, yeah? so they have each proton has a certain mass. Yeah? And positive. Electric charge. Like I said, right now it's just a name. Yeah? The protons. Then there are neutrons. They also have mass. And R and no electrical charge. Charge. Things we have no charge are called neutral. Electrically neutral. Neutrons. This is why the name is from. Right? And then we have the electrons. In a long time, people thought, does electrons have mass? And so uh, they have mass, but significantly smaller mass. Yeah, they have tiny. Mass. Even compared to proton, not just compared to me. Compared to me, everything is a tiny mass. Yeah, proton, neutron, electrons. But even compared to protons and neutrons, electrons have almost no mass. Okay, so the mass of uh, of uh, atom is very much concentrated in the middle of the atom, in the core. Okay, have tiny mass and so called negative. Electric charge. And the good thing why we call it now positive and negative is uh, that both have the same amount of charge, but in the opposite direction. Okay? The amount of charge. Is always called E, elementary charge, yeah? and is 1.602 10 raised by the power of minus 19 Coulomb. Coulomb is the is the unit for charge. Yeah? That's one proton. Yeah? One proton has plus E. One electron has minus E. It's the same amount of charge, but in the opposite direction. And if we see it from outside, yeah, and we count the protons, one, two protons, okay, and two electrons from outside, there is no charge at all. And this is why usually charges are not noticed. We don't notice charges because from the outside of the atom, it looks neutral. We don't see inside. We don't see inside the charges. We don't see inside the atoms. And this is why we don't see it. 
Yeah? Mass, there is only positive mass. It would be nice if there would be negative mass, then you would eat some negative mass and get in lighter. But this is not the case. Uh, so there is only positive mass. So the mass is accumulating. Yeah? Does not matter, protons, neutrons, electrons, the mass of the, of the electron is getting more. But the charge is positive and negative, and it can neutralize itself. And what is happening if you stroke some materials like amber, for instance, then you're rubbing off some of the electrons, then you have them on your hand, and the, the uh, element, the matter, is, has lack of electrons. And this lack of electrons means it's now it's charged. Uh, now we have less electrons than protons inside there. You cannot wipe away protons because they are you have to, you know, there is the mass. <laughs> inside inside the core there is the mass. You really have to physically scratch something off. You can rub away electrons usually. Yeah? So you usually charge this positive. On your hand there is negative charge because you have or on your towel or whatever you've used to stroke this stuff, uh, you have too much electrons. If you have too less electrons, it's positively charged. Okay? In, in total. Uh, and we can even feel it on our hands usually, uh, that the, the, the hairs on the hairs on the hands or, or, or on our head. Then you feel if you're getting charged, you feel how those hairs are starting to float suddenly. Yeah? This is because electrical force is much higher than gravitational force. Yeah? What is electrical force now? What I have not mentioned is that positive and negative charges are attracted to each other. There is a force. Yeah? So positive, we yeah, use still a different color, I have too much colors, or so many colors, so I have to show it. Yeah? Positive and negative charges attracted so they will, if they can, they will move together. Yeah? Move towards each other, each other, yeah. And positive, positive, pause, pause, or neg, neg, negative, negative. So if that is the same charges, yeah. Move away. From each other. Okay, so if there is the same charge, then they are not attracted. To, wah, we get to get away from those. Yeah? This is why usually electrons are never on the same side of of uh, of an atom, uh, on the opposite side. Or uh, there, uh, this is how you can think it. And how is then two protons so close together? Yeah, this is the help of the neutrons. The neutrons are the glue which are Holding, holding the matter, the core of the atoms together, right? And the electrons, they feel attracted to the protons. They want to rush to the protons and they have a lot of speed around. So they have a centrifugal force and they have this attraction force to the protons. And ooh, so uh, they are constantly moving yeah? like planets around the sun, but much faster, much faster. So you see, charge is just something lying within every matter. Yeah? Everything is charge. Everything is electro electrical engineering. The physical is lying within the matter itself. Yeah. So that's that's a charge. Yeah? Just some natural things. And everything else is just observation of the behavior of this thing. The first behavior I've already mentioned, that positive and negative charges are attracted to each other and would move towards, so there's a force towards to each other, and positive, positive, negative, negative, they will move away from each other. So there's a force 
a part in them. Yeah? How this force is generated, or how we can calculate it, I will explain in next video. Next video, force on electrical charges. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.